Okay. Dear friends of love for volleyball, amor por el voleibol, I am pleased to speak today with a player from Sweden who during his time in the national team achieves numerous success and played many years in Italy, winning tournaments and forging a name among the greatest of history. I mean Bengt Gustafsson, who kindly joined us today talking about volleyball. Hello Bengt, how are you? Hello there, I'm fine. Fantastic. Um, first of all, Bell, Bengt, um, please tell me when did you start playing volleyball and when did you, you, you choose volleyball as a sport? Well, uh, I think I started the first time when I was like seven, eight years old in a small club uh, called Sjövalla. Uh, mm -hmm. And it's just outside the, the city of Gothenburg in Mönlik, uh, where I lived. It's like 12 kilometers from there. And that's, I think, was the first time I, I came in contact with volleyball. And I think when I chose, uh, volleyball was around 77, 78, mm -hmm. uh, when I got uh, called in the youth national team. Mm -hmm. And of course, that was a, a big thing for a young player like me uh, those days. Fantastic. And how were your first um, years playing at the team like Sovola? How, how, how do you say Sovola? Um, Sovola. Sovola. And later, how did you arrive, uh, for example, after this, this um, time in, in Sweden, how did you arrive later um, to play in Italy? How was, was this evolution for in, in your volleyball career? Yeah, it was quite a fast one because I played in Sjöval and then uh, a team from the first league here in Sweden uh, called me. I played in, that was in, I think, in Division 4 mm -hmm. and then uh, to uh, the first division. Uh, and I played in the first division for one year and then I got called to the national team. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, when we were in a qualification... Uh, in Holland, mm -hmm. uh, we played, I think, uh, mm -hmm. if I don't remember wrong, Italy in that tournament. And um, I think this was, yeah. has to be in 82, I think. Okay. Uh, and uh, I did quite well uh, in that tournament. And Silvano Prandi, uh, famous coach, and mm -hmm. still is, I think, uh, was the leader of the national team, uh, the head coach. So he asked me uh, that spring, I think it was, or summer, to, to come down to Italy, to Turin, and uh, try to, to, to be there and, play, and, and practice with the team and see how it was. And uh, I got so fond of it that, well, I, I remained then later seven years in Italy. And how was this experience for you to, to play as a professional in Italy? Well, for a young player, I was only 20 years old. It was fantastic uh, just to be able to do uh, what you love and to have it like your work. It was fantastic. And, and uh, I, I played with a lot of uh, great uh, players that later become, of course, my friends also. So mm -hmm. it was, it was a, a great experience. And... Since, uh, as you can tell, uh, because I, I was there for seven years, so mm -hmm. of course it was it was a good experience. Yes, you, and I love it, uh, Italy and its food and everything. That I can miss that still today. I know, I know. Italy, it's a beautiful place. Um, yeah. The people are they're beautiful. Um, and uh, as you told us, uh, you played with many great players like Raúl Quiroga and the, all the Italian national players. The, the, the American players, um, and thanks to YouTube, we can watch these games today. After that, you play in, in, in Mexico, no Parma, against the team from Modena. It was uh, epic games we can, we can see now on YouTube. Um, and tell me, um, how was your, your, your relation um, with all these players from around the world, um, with another culture, another a way of, 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 of life, I think. How was your experience like a, a Swedish um, volleyball player in this, in this uh, one of the best leagues in the world? Well, of course, when, when, when you're in, in the middle of it, so to speak, you don't, you don't think so much about it. You just try to do your best and mm -hmm. uh, practice as good as you can. And, and I, it was fantastic to see. Uh, I have seen a, a lot of the world 
because of the volleyball. Been traveling a lot with the national team and also with the club teams, of course. And it was a fantastic experience that I would never have uh, had the opportunity if I wouldn't have played volleyball, of course. So for, for, for a young man like me, it was, it was a fantastic experience that uh, I wouldn't have, uh, have undone in any way. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Um, you have a, 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 a short experience playing in Greece. How was that? Or how, what was the story for you? Well, uh, the, the 88-89 season in Greece wasn't mm -hmm. that good because there was uh, the, the president, uh, Georgios Koskotas, mm -hmm. um, that uh, had some uh, suspicious business uh, around the world, as mm -hmm. I uh, understood it. And um, unfortunately, I didn't get paid when I was there. So, of course, I, I had uh, so I, I could eat and uh, live good in a hotel and so on. But there was a problem there that they didn't pay me. So uh, I left uh, uh, in, in the 89 season in the yeah, February, March or something like that and went back to Sweden and played mm -hmm. for uh, Team Kungel for the, the playoffs here in Sweden since I think the, the Federation wanted me to play because we had the European Championship the same year. So it was important for them that I played. So great. I, I, as we talked before, I saw you in the national team um, and you played in a generation with many success. You played in European Championship, you played in the Olympics in Seoul and, and in the, the European National um, Championship in your country in 1989. How was this experience um, to play with a, a great team and um, you have great uh, companion, uh, as we told before, Pierre Andersev, Larsen Nilsson, and, and many, many great players um, who played uh, also in, in foreign country, in Germany, in Italy. Um, how was this experience um, from, from starting, for example, from 85 in, in Holland and Netherlands uh, and, and, and after this to to could play um, in Olympics and, and so many great tournaments around the world. How was, was this experience for you and how do you, do you prepare for this? Well, uh, our, our coach, I think, uh, Anders Christiansson, uh, that is uh, mm -hmm. very famous and still going strong right now on the beach. Uh, uh, I think he, he started... Uh, this journey for us uh, around 81, 82, mm -hmm. 81, I think it was. He g gathered, uh, I think, uh, around 25, 30 persons, uh, girls and uh, boys from around uh, Sweden. And that's where it all started. And uh, he, he had an idea, of course, that some someday we would play European Championships in Sweden and uh, ho hopefully do well. Mm -hmm. And most of, of the national team players were at that camp. It was a six weeks camp in, in a summer. I think it was in 81. And uh, I think that uh, he, he, he laid the foundations for, for the national team during that period. But then, of course, we, we had a f fantastic team that I think mm -hmm. uh, was almost 10 years we, we stayed together for, for and, and built that team. Uh, so that's, that's why I think we, we had that success uh, to go to the Olympics. And, and then 89 uh, was the top of our national team when we beat uh, Soviet Union mm -hmm. in the semifinals. Uh, it was an incredible game and I think the best game and, and well, the top of my career, career you can say, because it was f fantastic just to be able to do that in, in uh, our home court in Sweden. It shows, it shows. We can see on YouTube the, this game completely. Um, and it's a very high definition game, so we can see it uh, um, completely. And it's very, very impressive that the crowd who was in this gym, it's a very big crowd, you played a fantastic game, and you beat um, one of the best teams in, in this time, the Soviet Union, um, uh, 
without any of, from his past stars like Pachenko or Sabin, but it was a, a very big, big and, and strong team. And as you tell, um, it yeah. showed that your team was a, a team from uh, with with a with a great communication because um, you know every time where where the ball come, where you were standing, where your teammate were. It shows that you have a this time this uh, championship a very powerful uh, team. Um, and tell me, uh, beside the, the the game with the Soviets, how was this this tournament, this the championship from beginning to the end? Well, uh, we started, I think, uh, so and so, and we had like uh, two games, I think, that we played that we won three two. I, I remember what once was, I think, against Bulgaria, and then I'm not sure against what team it was so long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, we, I think, we we started so and so, and then we we came along better and better, uh, and. and Really made it our great game against Soviet Union, uh, but and, and then in the final, of course, against Italy, it was it was hard to uh, the day after that long uh, semi-final play against Italy that won the day before three zero against uh, the Dutch team Holland, and uh, we I think we almost played for three hours and they played one hour and of course mentally it was. Uh, Exhausting. Trained, trained a lot uh, of, of our mentally, mentality, uh, the game. But as I said, we, we uh, Christiansen was really, really good to scout the other team. So, uh, yeah, we, we started so and so, but got better during the tournament. And uh, as it as it should be when you have to success in a big tournament, of course, you have. It's not to not maybe perfect to start at the top the first game but to build and and play better and better you're right i i i'm i'm seeing here that you won 3-2 to the west germany yeah. In this oh yeah okay um well after after this um, european championship um came seoul the olympics how was this experience for you and how would you prepare it and how do you play in, in the olympics well, I think uh, the Olympics was a bit of a surprise for us mm -hmm. when we we beat Italy in Italy and uh, in Florence in, in Firenze, uh, and we beat them uh, of a direct qualification game, qualification mm -hmm. game, and uh, I think that was a big surprise for us. Uh, but uh, well, the preparation was was pretty good. We we were in the United States and, and played against the USA team and uh, it was a great experience, of course. Um, I saw this, I saw this. But yes. we, we, we weren't at, at the top uh, just at, during that time, I think. Uh, but uh, it was a, a great experience and, uh, and I think that helped us also get ready for 89 uh, for the European Championships and, and helped us a lot to get, gain that experience in, in the Olympics. Exactly. And of course, when when you're at the, in an Olympic Games, there's it's not only volleyball. There's all these athletes around the world, and we went to see track and field. I remember Ben Johnson was mm -hmm. uh, the, the big talk, uh, one of the big talks that when he got uh, disqualified because of the doping mm -hmm. uh, thing. And and well, it was fantastic to to be there and see all the athletes. Of course, you're right. Um, I saw these games um, in this in this tour of, um, in the United States, and you played against the, the the American team, one of the best of all times, with Kiraly and Bach and Tim, so all yeah. these good players. Um, and tell me, um, um, getting back to the to the to the to the professional um, games, professional volleyball in Italy, um, you told uh, us before you played in, in many important. Teams like Mexico or, or, or another teams. Um, when you are were, were at your top of your of your career, you have an accident. Please tell me about this and how this affect your your career in volleyball, please. Well, uh, that year it was 1991. Mm -hmm. I uh, played in Sicily. Mm -hmm. It's in Treviso, close to Venice. Um, mm -hmm. 
And I had a knee surgery uh, that year, 91, in okay. I think it was January, January or February. And after that, uh, I didn't have a contract. Uh, so I had to practice a lot in the gym and do, doing rehabilitation. And uh, the gym where I went to uh, was not very far away, but uh, a bit far away. So I thought, uh, if I buy a, a motorcycle, mm -hmm. I will. It will take me a lot faster to the gym and back home again. And uh, this was, uh, yeah, the summer that year, ninety uh, one. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, that was was not such a good decision. Now looking backwards, mm -hmm. uh, because in October uh, ninety one. Uh, I was hit by a car when I was driving home from the gym mm -hmm. and I broke my leg at uh, four places um, and I, I, I got, they flew me home to Sweden and I had surgery and uh, it took a very long time to rehabilitate the, the leg mm -hmm. and sad, uh, sadly was the same leg that uh, I had the surgery for the cartilage in in the knee that year so when i tried to restart my rehabilitation because in my mind it was i wanted to come back and, and play again of course i was only 20 year, 28 years uh, during th that that time so mm -hmm. but it, it was very difficult to to do the rehabilitation for for the knee so uh, i realized that i had to stop play uh, indoor volleyball but I tried on the beach for a couple of years. That was much more uh, soft for the body and, and the knee. Uh, so I could play there for a couple of years. But, but of course, we, we played only for fun, uh, me and okay. uh, my friend Pelle. Uh, but uh, it was great fun to at least finish finished that way. But of course... Uh, looking back, it was a bad decision that model, to buy model, that motorcycle. Okay. Mm -hmm. But it's easy, well, easy now to to say that. Exactly, history is is unknown. And and uh, as you told us, you played volleyball uh, on the beach, um, not professionally, but uh, as a joy. No. Volleyball is a joy yeah. for all of us. And and after after this, um, you you what did you make in in volleyball? Did you did you um, be connected to volleyball? Did you make something? Because I I, I wrote that you um, um, manage a, a project about uh, called volleyball world arena. Can you tell yes, us? Yes, that, that was uh, that was uh, uh, a Facebook application uh, mm -hmm. that a company wanted to try and. Uh, uh, make money for the clubs and of course okay. to do some money th themselves but it never had any success so it was like for a year and then uh, it was uh, put down as as it didn't it didn't work as they were uh, thinking okay okay i understand and and what what what, what do you make today are you still in related to volleyball or 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 only in, in this championship from, from masters uh, that you train now? Well, right now I'm I'm not uh, involved uh, in uh, in volleyball uh, in any way. Mm -hmm. uh, I have been coaching and training a team for a couple of years ago, but uh, I don't think it was my my thing to do because. Uh, I, I think, uh, well, so, so, some people are, are made for coaching and training. Of course, players can can be good, really good coaches too. But I think it, it wasn't for me. So uh, right now, I'm I'm not involved in volleyball in any way right now. I understand this. It, it, it's it's so true that what you're saying. Some players we think we can make a good a good job as a as a as a coach, but it's not always so. We have no, no, of course not. We have, have to uh, have uh, another things, a mentality, a, a work of of a side of work. I don't know. Um, yeah. And tell me, please, Ben, what do you think about the the, the actually volleyball in Sweden? What do you think about this uh, this moment in, in Sweden in volleyball? Well, uh, I haven't followed it 
that much. But mm -hmm. I, I think the the men's teams uh, the men teams are struggling a bit, and uh, the women team yeah. are are getting better and better. And of course now. Uh, on on the beach, there are a couple of young guys, Oman and oh, I don't remember his name, me and names, but they won. I think it was yesterday. Okay. Yeah, it, yesterday they won a world tour, and, and it, it is the first Swedish team that, that won a world tour event uh, on the beach. So it was really really good and really fun. They are 18 years old, both of them. So. They have a great future. It's very impressive because here in Chile, we, when we think about Sweden, we don't think you have uh, many beaches to play volleyball. We, we think you're always <laughs> snowing and it's always cold. And so it's great that you yeah. have so many great players in, in beach volleyball. No, that's that's true. But uh, here in the summer, it's, it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. uh, from May to beginning of September it's it's still today it's like 20 20 degrees outside and and okay. of course we have some beaches here too I know I know <laughs> and and tell me please uh, um what do you think in in, in this in these times because um, um, as we told uh, outside the, the camera we told uh, we spoke about the, the pandemic that we live in today in Chile we have this corona in quarantine, quarantine it's uh, has affected a lot of um, um, topics in, in our lives how is Sweden today, and how how do you do, do you see the sport will manage this, especially in volleyball? Uh, well, uh, right now I think as around the world we have a limit of fifty persons mm -hmm. in uh, gatherings. Okay. And I know the football uh, or the soccer games are without public uh, mm -hmm. audience. And I think uh, also they they will start the volleyball and uh, other sports will will won't have any more than than max fifty persons. Uh, so maybe soon they they said that they will will bring in five hundred uh, persons uh, into the games maybe, but it depends how the pandemic uh, evolves and and and. We hope for a vaccine soon, as the whole world uh, does. Of course. Exactly, exactly. And finally, finally, ben, tell me, please, what do you think um, the, the the Swedish volleyball, especially men, um, are not achieving the the same results as as your generation? What do you think it, it's so? Well, uh, I think, uh, of course. Uh, when we played, I think there were a lot of more play, a lot of more players playing mm -hmm. volleyball uh, in Sweden during that time. And of course, also a big factor I would say is uh, the coach mm -hmm. Anders Christiansson and his uh, mind setting of of this goal and making a great team. I'm I'm not saying that our co the coach now for the men's team is bad. I'm just saying that. It, it was a special time and and uh, a special uh, group of of guys uh, with the team that uh, stayed together for a long time and uh, ma that made it possible to, to all mm -hmm. together and it it's maybe one one of those things that can happen one every hundred years or something like that mm -hmm. for for a small country as Sweden because we are still a, a fairly small country comparing mm -hmm. to to the other big volleyball player uh, vo volleyball yeah. countries Countries, exactly exactly and um, one I, I i want to thank you again um, for this with this conversation bank um, as i told you um here in chile and around the world we remember you we re remember you very well when you played with your team when you're jumping when you're smashing when you 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 make a so great um, contribution to volleyball history. Um, I want to thank you enormously for this time, for, you, for, your, for, your, for your words and to sharing, sharing with us, with our friends around the world. Um, I want, finally, I, I, I want to invite you to keep in touch and, and see many, send you many health wishes for you and your family. Um, I'm very thank happy you. to talk to you and send you all a, a big hug from Chile and around the world. Um, a big hug from me to all of, uh, of your fans and to you, of course. And uh, thank you very much for your very kind words.